Look at the firepower that's happening right now. What is even going on right now? Oh, no. Okay. This, this is horrible. What have I done? Here we are once again in Animal Revolt Battle Simulator, and we are visiting the Bold Billy Colony. Now, the Bold Billies are not too smart. They only have one objective in life, and that is to protect the queen, which is back here. Uh, but yeah, they're a simple folk, and they have a simple settlement. But they do have one giant problem. That's because we have an armored flying unit outside that has three missile launchers attached to its back because, of course, this is what you guys wanted to see. And to prove it, I'm going to flash the comment up on screen. So, it's going to be a total bloodbath here. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. And oh no, here come the missiles and oh, the bold billies are flying. Yep. There's no way. They have no option here. Oh, the queen's down. Oops. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Oh, this isn't going to last long at all. Look at the explosions. And Bold Billies are getting thrown through the air. This is fine. The civilization of Bold Billy is now officially extinct. I mean, we all knew they weren't going to last that long, right? So that was a complete slaughter. So yeah, this unit actually came from the comment section from Minso Thacker. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's an armored flying unit with missile launchers. Now, I could have put more armor on it. I was playing around with it a little bit, but... You don't want to make it too heavy, and I put a lot on the first time, and the thing just fell to the ground. But I'm actually kind of satisfied with this, and I want to actually make this into a big army. Uh, we just had to demonstrate them for the intro here. So if you guys have any suggestions for future creatures you want to see in this game, comment down below. And the most upvoted comment will be featured in the next episode. Okay, so I named this thing Dragon, even though it doesn't breathe fire. Uh, that should be an option, though. Like, there's a couple parts that I would love to see in the game. Uh, definitely a flamethrower would be one. Also, wings. So you can give wings to, like, non-flying characters and see if they can actually fly. Uh, that would be amazing. So we're going to do this versus an ancient human army, and then we'll move on to something else, maybe more of their size uh, with creatures. But... I want to see how these things handle like a big archer group. Okay, let's get the archie, the archers here. So it's going to be a massive group. Also, by the way, if you're enjoying this game on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. And also hit the thumbs up button for the, uh, the bold billies that died in the intro. Okay, so we have 100 archers. Let's go ahead and get the Romans in. So we'll have a group of these. I want to get an army of like 200 people here. So much for the straight line. Okay, here we go. Let's do another section of these in the front. Uh, we want to get to 200 here. Uh, almost there. And then maybe we'll do the uh, the generals back here. So we'll do some of the horse units. Uh, there we go. And then we'll do one knight. This is the king. All right, so this is a pretty massive army. Do you guys think that my new created unit's actually going to be able to defeat them? I feel like it's actually not going to be able to because that's a ton of archers. But maybe I'm going to be wrong. All right, here we go. Boom. Uh-oh. Oh, really? Yep, they're confused. Are they dancing? I feel like they're dancing here. Yep, this is definitely a thing. Uh, I created two stupid armies. Okay, so we're back to 10 dragons. One thing I do want to add, we need some sort of ground support. And a lot of people wanted to see me play with the Hydra more. So, boom, we're going to place this one down. Actually, I placed the wrong thing. There we go. So we'll have one Hydra in the front. All right, here we go. Watch the archers here. Also, they can throw those spears, can't they? I think they can. Oh, we're about to see. Oh, look at the missiles coming in. And oh, wait. The dragons appear to be hitting themselves with some of those missiles. Uh-oh. Oh, oh no, this isn't good at all. Oh, it's down to the Hydra here. Uh, and the Hydra is almost dead. Oh, listen to the amount of arrows going right now. Actually, we have one dragon over here. Buddy, you might want to get the heck out of here. This was not a good idea. Oh, and he's going to come back in. Such a brave dragon, and now it's dead. Okay, so I see a couple things wrong. Obviously, the dragon that I created, it's not strong enough. So we're going to have to create another armored flying unit. Uh, the intro dragon 
was uh, not good. Also, Komodo, stop calling it a dragon. It doesn't breathe fire. We don't have any sort of uh, fire breathing, do we? Okay, so I see what's wrong with my missile launchers. I think having them on the back, they shoot up and then come down. I need them to shoot directly down. This is where I'm going to add them to uh, the front of the wing here. Also, thankfully, Control z is a thing because I just deleted my creature. So I'm thinking three per wing is probably sufficient here. There we go. So we have those. That looks pretty cool. I mean, we could go all out and add machine guns to its head. Is that, is that too much? I mean, I don't think so. Okay, let's do a quick test here. And okay, this will be team two. Let's just add a couple people out here. And can we still fly? Uh-oh. See, this is the problem with adding armor. So I've got to see where the limit is. It cannot fly right now. But oh, the firepower on this thing is incredible. Okay, so it's just going to take a little bit of work. Where is it getting hit most? Like, I feel like I can get rid of a couple armored pieces on top and maybe a couple chest pieces. But I actually really like this thing. It just got to get it back up in the air. All right, so we're spawning in our flying unit once again. So I had to scale it back down. That's the only way these things actually fly. So I compensated here. I added the uh, missile launchers on the side, and I added three machine guns on each wing. So this thing should be kind of OP, I think. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, they seem confused. Oh, never mind. They're not confused. Look at the firepower that's happening right now. What is even going on right now? Oh, no. Okay. This this is horrible. What have I done? Uh, we made a flying unit covered in missiles and machine guns. Uh, they're going down, but they're doing a lot of damage. I wonder how much damage is like friendly fire right now. Uh, by the way, the other ones seem confused in the background. It's fine. Eventually, they'll come fight. And... Oh! <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> we just took out a massive army. Holy man. It didn't even take all of the flying units. So, yes, this is what happens when you attach way too many machine guns to something. Uh, Komodo knows this. Also, this one's just running around. He's just really, really happy he won. Kind of looks like he's dancing a little bit. It's a cool looking unit, by the way. All right, so I'm trying to figure the flying units out. We only have, I think, one more besides the uh, one that we've created. So we're down to a uh, dinosaur name I can't uh, pronounce. I always thought this was like a pterodactyl, but I'm completely wrong. I'm not very good with my dinosaurs. How do these things work? Are they uh, any good? Hold on, let's go ahead and spawn in. Here, let's get a team two. And then let's spawn in a couple humans here just to see what happens. What's your attack like? What the... Oh, wait, whoa, wait, did they pick him up? Dude, they picked him up and uh, actually flung him. So the primary attack seems to be grab him with the mouth and fling him. What if we just made two massive flying armies? I feel like the damage on this dinosaur is not going to be near as much as the other one, but we can outfit these things. So we got this one here. Uh, it's not very big, and I don't really want to adjust the size because it seems like if you play with the size on the flying creatures, it completely screws them up. So we pretty much have to just give this thing like micro machine guns. I mean, these are still going to work, right? All right. So for our next fight, we're going to have the ultimate war. It's going to be the war of the dinosaurs versus the fantasy creatures. Now we will be moving on next episode to something a little bit different. So if you guys have a category you want to see next, let me know. But we're going to do, okay. So team one's going to have several hydras. Let's go ahead and go with maybe three of these bad boys. So we'll spawn these in. So it's going to be three of those. Uh, we'll have some of the hill giants. Let's go maybe six of those. The main unit's going to be the werewolf, so that's going to be the army in the front. So I think I want each to have at least 150 units. Uh, that's going to be a big fight, but I feel like it's doable. Okay, let's go with the 120 units. This is already a lot. That's a big army. So, all right, so the dinosaur's turn. Which team are you? Team Fantasy or Team Dinosaur? I think for the most part, let's use carnivores. So we're going to have a huge Velociraptor uh, front here. And I think I'm going to place at least 50 of these. So we got 50 of these. It's already starting to lag, folks. This is not this is not good at all. Okay, so we'll get a couple of these. We need to have our T-Rexes. So those are going to be basically the anti-Hydras. I think we're going to give them five of these since the Hydras have uh, three lives each. So we'll go with five of those, and then we're going to go with our custom dinosaur. I might have to erase some stuff. This might be too ambitious. 
Okay, this is definitely too ambitious. You can see my frame rate has absolutely tanked. So we're gonna get the armies down to 80 a piece. Okay, so this is a lot better. We have 80 versus 80. Yeah, you can't place as many of the uh, the big units here. So I'm curious who's gonna win here. Here we go, three, two, one, start. Uh-oh. Are we once again too far away from each other? We really need to up that vision because they're ignoring each other right now. That's great. Okay, so we're set up once again a lot closer. Three, two, one, go. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, what is even happening here? Uh, this is just a massive clash. Here comes the missiles. Oh, we're blowing up a lot of the map here. This is great. Uh, let's try to get in on the action. I have no clue what's even happening. This is probably one of the biggest battles we've created. Not unit-wise, but as far as just the size of them. Like, this looks epic. Who's actually winning right now? I have no clue. All right, let's go ahead. And this is full speed, by the way. We're still lagging, but... Yeah, you really can't... Oh, dive in on the action. Oh! Okay, so it... Why does it look like the uh, flying units are grabbing their own side? Are they confused? Who is winning right now? Oh, those T-Rexes are still up, but the Hydras are up too. Also, there's Velociraptors flying through the sky right now. <laughs> oh no, what have we created here? What have we done? You know, I still see quite a few flying dinos up right now. I feel like the dinos might be winning right now. Oh, look at this. That's a clash of the Titans right there. This Hydra's got like three or two of the heads on the uh, T-Rex right now trying to eat it. And that third head seems a little confused. That looks so epic. Holy man, here comes more missiles. Uh, the chaos here, folks. This is uh, about as good as it gets when it comes to this game. I definitely want to do more large scale battles like this with the uh, other style of units. Uh, okay, what's happening? Explosions. It looks like a lot of the dino flying units are still in the air. Those are a little stronger than I thought they would be. Okay, they're still firing. We have a massive, like, tangle of two Hydras here with, like, three T-Rexes. They're eating stuff on the ground. What is going on? By the way, look at what the Raptors do. Like, multiple Raptors will attach uh, to one creature. So you got, like, two of them here. Actually, this werewolf is eating this Raptor's head while another Raptor is on the werewolf's back. And, nope, there goes the Minotaur. It's flying through the air. Okay, it's still a fairly competitive fight here. I like that werewolf unit, though. I like how it actually claws, or it actually uh, goes on all four uh, claws, and then it grabs stuff and just starts eating it. That's cool. Okay, so my lag's starting to clear up, so I know a lot of the units have died. <laughs> That's how you know everything's good. Uh, but I still can't tell who's winning right now. Like, a lot of the flying units are starting to disappear, so it's down to the big titans, basically. Oh, man, look at this. The flying unit. Oh, he's just trying to rip at the Hydra's head. Oh, it went flying. Oh, this is brutal. Who's winning? Also, this big giant has like three or four raptors attached to it right now. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. All right, looks like the dinosaurs finally have the upper hand here. The Hydras are going down. Uh, they're eating a giant right now. Oh, oh, I'm not sure. Can I even show this? They're, uh, they're piling onto it. Did any T-Rexes fall? They did not. So, the T-Rex and the Hydra are the two big dominant units here. What's going on over here? Uh, we got more of a feast happening. Oh, that's the, the Minotaur. Oh, it hooks people with his horns and flings them through the air. Oh, there goes that raptor. Oh, that raptor's dead. Uh, this is fine. Also, there's a stampede of T-Rexes coming through. That is one of the most incredible things that you can see in this game. Holy man. Folks, it's almost over here. Yep. Oh, okay. Oh, they're ripping apart the other unit over here. And then you have the last bit of the fight happening over here. Oh, and they're jumping in. Uh-oh. Oh, this poor giant out here. He's having a little bit of a fight with a, uh, a raptor, but uh, he might want to just run. Like, you don't want to fight here. This is going to be bad. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, no. Okay, that's brutal. I think it's over, folks. The dinosaurs won. That was an awesome battle. So, if you guys have any suggestions for future battles, comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time.